Thank you, Dr. Rees. I would now like to recognize Mr. Griffith for the purpose of making an open statement. Good morning. I want to thank Chairman Comer and Winstrup, Ranking Members Raskin and Ruiz for having this hearing today and inviting relevant energy and commerce chairs and ranking members to it. For over a year now, we've been working together to investigate the origins of COVID-19 pandemic and the role that the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, NIAD, headed by Dr. Fauci, and EcoHealth, headed by Dr. Dasak, may have played in it by funding research and facilitating the transfer of technologies to the Wuhan Institute of Virology, which I will refer to henceforth as Wuhan. It is critical that we understand what went wrong at NIAD and EcoHealth's relationship with Wuhan. Frankly, it's been alarming to discover that NIAD's approval and oversight of risky experiments involving potential pandemic pathogens is so lax. My hope is that when we are finished, we have a package of legislative proposals and other recommendations on biosafety and biosecurity. I increasingly think that means taking final approval authority for these experiments away from NIAD and other funding in favor of an independent entity. With so many lives lost and disrupted by what I believe was a research-related accident, we need transparent, effective oversight, and tight regulation of gain-of-function research of concern. We certainly do not have that now. I participated in Dr. Dashak's transcribed interview. It's clear to me that neither NIAD nor EcoHealth have a complete picture of what Wuhan was up to with its coronavirus collection or with their gain-of-function research trajectory. But what we do know from EcoHealth's uh, NIAD grant and EcoHealth's diffuse proposal and the private musings of virologists who collaborated with Wuhan is not comforting. We don't have this critical information in large part because NIAD's review and oversight was a farce. NIAD and EcoHealth were asleep at the switch. In my opinion, they were grossly negligent. I find it incomprehensible that NIAD continues to fund EcoHealth's collaboration with Wuhan to this very day. EcoHealth's grant was reinstated so they could process virus samples and sequences that had, previously, that had been previously collected. It turns out many of these viruses and sequences are held by Wuhan. NIAD didn't even think to ask them where the samples were stored before restarting their funding. Even after COVID-19 at NIAD, it's just business as usual. It's absurd and it's got to change. Or we risk having, perhaps, yet another high consequence accident. We have to put some adults in place to independently review proposed gain of function research of concern that NIAD and other agencies want to fund. Thank you again, Mr. Chairman. I look forward to continuing working together and I yield back.